Thank you for coming to our first gala. We are, as a parish, trying to take care of each other. And one of the people we want to take care of is Marie Flickinger and say, thank you for all you have done, not just for our parish, but for this community. So thank you all for coming to our gala. I hope you have a wonderful time. I'd like you to listen to what a few other people have to say. These are people who really feel what they're saying. They mean what they say, and they're glad to say it because they want to honor Marie. And enjoy yourself, be nice to Marie, and again, thank you, have fun. Marie lives her life, every minute of her life for this community, for the children in the community, the students at San Jack. Everything she does with her being is for this community. Marie has always been willing to take on the hard issues. She was always out there stumping for us, fighting for us, and making our voice known. What an advocate, what a champion for children. What an amazing friend and supporter to me. I can't imagine my superintendency without her support. But she's always behind the scenes taking care of people. Uh, can't say enough about how many good things she's done uh, to keep the community safe. I first met Marie, uh, I think probably in maybe 1971. Her uh, youngest son, Davey Flickinger, was a classmate of mine, so I've known the Flickingers just about my entire life. Uh, we were in elementary school together. No, just joking. Uh, I met Marie. Uh, she and Bobby Griffin started the newspaper, South Belt Ellington Leader. Both my sister, Kathleen, and myself worked for the South Belt Ellington Leader. Everybody had to pick up a leader every Thursday. That's how you found out the news. People read the South Belt Ellington Leader because it has stories about people, what's going on in the community, uh, events that are going on in the community. It was just a real joy growing up and being part of that community. I'll go to, to Kroger or someplace and I'll get the paper and then I'll sit down with a cup of coffee and read it and, and be able to hear about some people and their lives and their stories and what's going on. When I was blessed to get the position of superintendent of schools, my bosses, the seven school board members, recommended that I go and meet with Marie and get to know her better. And so I made an appointment, went over and had heard so much about her, I'll be honest, I was a little nervous at first. I met Marie when we were building this hospital in 1986 and we decided that we needed to join the chamber and she was the first person I met in this community and she welcomed us with open arms and was ready for this hospital. What an amazing advocate for this community. We talked about not only the South Belt area but the entire school district, some of the history. Uh, there have been some issues in our past here in our community that are, are uh, not all positive. We had an incident with Brio and she led the charge on that. The Brio site is a former chemical manufacturing plant and uh, fuel refinery that operated in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. One of the processes at the site was to recycle solvents. So the, the owners of the refinery had stored some of these materials in earthen pits in the ground, which was legal way back then. Some of those materials uh, made their way into the shallow groundwater and um, the EPA uh, discovered this and uh, decided it needed to be cleaned up, rectified. And um, that's where Marie got involved. Marie realized that, look, the community is so close to the Brio site, we need to be involved in the remedy, the selection of a remedy for the site. So Marie went to Washington, D.C., got with EPA, and she was appointed as the chairperson by the EPA and got with the EPA and the chemical companies and came up with a new remedy that is a containment remedy with pumping, which includes a barrier wall all the way around the site and treat the groundwater uh, to make it safe and clean again. Everybody knows about her work with uh, Brio and the Superfund site. Some people didn't like that, but she took a stand on that, uh, cleaning our area up here for the Brio site. So I actually met Marie when I started in the, at the college um, as a foundation board member in 1996. I came to Houston to liquidate savings and loans. Our savings and loan part that I had had a lot of Brio properties, and who would ever know that the reason there's Brio properties that had been in SNL that had failed was because of the work that Marie had done in that South Belt area. And so just to be able to meet her was pretty amazing. Marie's out there everywhere. Um, 
You know, a lot of times she's in the forefront of things, but most of the time she's behind the scenes, driving something, making sure that um, some event is taken care of, making sure that the community's taken care of. The one that comes to mind is Harvey, you know, the night of the storm, and I'll get emotional because it was emotional. <laughs> But she called and she said, Deanna, I need to put families in your school. And I was like, Marie, it's flooding. You know, I can't get out, but let me try. So I tried, my husband tried. And so finally we were able to open the doors remotely. And when I finally saw Marie and saw all the families that she had helped save, it was amazing to me. She did such an amazing job. And there were hundreds of families that were helped before the Red Cross could come, before any city officials, county officials could come. It was the school district and Marie, and she was leading that charge. You know, of particular interest, we could go back to Hurricane Harvey and when she had Dobie High School be a refuge for people. And, you know, every year she does toys for students in the district that don't have you know, wouldn't otherwise have a toy. From a personal standpoint, she's been a tremendous support for me at San Jacinto College. And, and we've had a long history of being partners. And I, I know when Marie brings an issue, it's a valid issue and it's an issue I need to really take seriously. On the other side of it, um, she's somebody that I go to to bounce things off. She's been a mentor to me. I call her uh, the mayor of South Belt. And so anytime I need something, I call the mayor. If you're going to get things done in the South Belt, you're missing out if you don't know Marie Flickinger or you don't at least uh, try to connect with her because she is someone that is able to get things done and because of her care and concern for that community, that's my go-to. Marie is just unique. There will never ever be another Marie Flickinger. She is the epitome of a servant heart. She's the epitome of what is good in this world. You've helped make the South Belt area a wonderful place to live, to raise a family, and to work. So thank you for everything you've done for the South Belt community. Uh, what I'd like to say to Marie is that she's been a very dear friend to me. I would say, uh, Marie, thank you, and I love you, and I appreciate you for all you've done for the children, for the families, for the school district, and for this community. You're amazing. Well, um, Marie, you have done so much for the community. I know how much you serve with passion and heart, and this is well-deserved, and, and you don't like to be recognized, but enjoy this and just know you've made an incredible impact. Marie, we fight like cats and dogs, but I love you like my sister. You are my sister, you are my friend, and I love you. Thank you for your selfless service. Thanks for being a great friend and a wonderful mentor and I wish you much happiness and success for you and your family. May God bless you always. You've helped make the South Belt area a wonderful place to live, to raise a family and to work. So thank you for everything you've done for the South Belt community and uh, hope to uh, continue to be friends with you for many, many years. I want to thank all of you who have come here to support not only our parish, but also Marie Flickinger. We, we know, those of us who know her and love her, recognize how much she has done, and we are grateful for it. And we're grateful for what she's given to us, and we're glad to have her as a friend. So thank you for being here to honor her, for supporting our parish. Thank you for just having a good time with all of us, living in stewardship and taking care of each other. May God bless all of us and our families and loved ones, and may we all have a blessed night. Good night.